Welcome to this installment of the Akron Brass instructional video series. Today we will be discussing the Universal 2 Advanced Monitor Control System. During this educational video, we will review the basic components of the U2 Monitor Control System and also look at how all of the components connect together. The U2 Monitor Control System is a microprocessor-based controller housed in an IP67 rated enclosure. Two multi-pin connectors provide the connections to the controller. The vehicle interface connector, J1, provides power, CAN network, and other input and output connections. And the monitor interface connector, J2, connects to the harness supplied with the monitor. A sealed USB port provides program updates to the U2 and any network connected device by simply inserting a USB memory stick into the port and turning the system power on. A vent port provides pressure equalization which helps prevent condensation buildup in extreme climates. The vehicle interface is handled through cable assembly 721582. This assembly supplies the 29 pin connector to mate with a J1 connector of the U2 controller. In addition, pre-terminated power, ground, and non-network input-output signals are provided with individually marked wires. A 3-pin CAN network interface connector is also provided. Basic network control devices include toggle switch boxes, joysticks, wired remote tethers, and wireless remotes. Toggle switch boxes and joysticks use a 4-pin connector to provide power, ground, and CAN signals. The optional remote position indicator module also uses the same 4-pin connector. Cable assembly 721579 provides the interface between devices using a 4-pin connector to the CAN network 3-pin connector, including power and ground connections for the control device. Each control device uses a network T connector. This connector provides a network in and out port and a device connection port. These connectors are keyed to prevent connection errors. CAN extension cables are used to travel the distance between device T connectors. They are available in several lengths making network customization easy. CAN terminator plugs are required at each end of the network. These provide the proper electrical impedance for the CAN network and can be connected to either network port of a T connector. A basic complete system would consist of a monitor, U2 controller, and a control input device, in this case a toggle switch station. The cable assemblies make it easy to complete the system. First, connect the monitor to the U2 controller using the harness supplied with the monitor. Then make the first network connection between the U2 controller and the CAN network using the 721582 interface harness and 758306T connector. A CAN extension cable is used between the U2 and the next network T connector. Then, a 721579 control device interface harness connects to the toggle switch station. Next, add one terminator plug at each end of the network. Finally, make the power and ground connections to the U2 controller and the control input devices as required. Additional devices can be added to the network by removing a terminator plug and inserting a new device, T connector, and extension cable, then reinstalling the terminator on the new device, T connector. For a basic monitor system, your installation is now complete, and the monitor is ready to operate as soon as power is applied. For more advanced monitors with options like stow, deploy, or position feedback, some additional programming is required before the monitor is ready to use. For these monitors, please see the U2 Monitor Control Setup Programming instructional video series 
or the Universal 2 installation setup manual document number 122552. To find product specifications, drawings, instructions, and more for the Universal 2 controller, please visit akronbrass.com and enter 6032 or Universal 2 in the search box. Thanks again for being an Akronbrass customer.